What up, Houston Rockets fans? Um, it, help us out. Help us out. Help us out. It's been Nick. a good season so far. If you have not been watching, you're um, you tripping. But yeah, you is tripping. The we do have some good problems, I guess. Um, we're getting healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, Amin Thompson will be back very soon uh, from his mm-hmm. high ankle sprain. But you and me were talking off before we hit record of what happens to Aaron Holiday. Like, what happens? That's what I wonder. Like, what do you do? Because it's not fair to Aaron Holiday to just take him right back out of the rotation. But then also, it's like, Amin Thompson's the number four pick, and he just got hurt. Yes. So do you just take those the minutes you were – this is what I would do. I'd probably take the minutes that you were given Holiday, split them in half to each one, and see who plays better, and hope to God that a man takes that job back. Yeah. But then it feels like, man, because Ime is the type of coach where, like, we've seen it. He's bench players. Like, hey, you're going to the bench. You suck. And mm-hmm. it's done great for Shingun. It did great for Jabari. It did great for Jalen. All three of them – want to be coached hard and he, that's what he did he's you're having a bad game go to the bench and you're gonna watch the rest of the guys go and they push their production forward so it kind of feels like when it comes to a man it's gonna be one of those all right you gotta earn your spot back i'm not giving it to you how about this would you be against sending him to the g league for a week or two no me neither but do you think he would be disrespected by that no, I feel like the rest of the G League would probably be pissed off because then they got to go up against him and Cam at the same time, and Cam's destroying them over there. I know. That's my thing is I'm trying to figure out how I can get Cam in our rotation. It It's going to come down to – and it's, it's so tough because, like, you thought, like, Green was going to be, like, <laughs> just, like – Sitting around? Yeah. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, do you think that, like, Jabari or Tari, one of those dudes can play that Jeff Green role? Like, do what he does to make room for Cam? Because I don't know if they can. It's just Jeff Green's playing so well on defense and on offense right now. And then it's one of those where it's like, I don't want to move what's working. But then it's like, like, Honestly, the one guy that I would be like, all right, you could probably take out is like Shock Landell, but mm-hmm. we don't have another big man for him. So it's like you're kind of like in there. That's kind of why I was thinking about sending a, a man to G League because I was like, if you keep letting Aaron Holiday play, worst case scenario, you make him let him, you let himself, let him make himself look good, and then you trade him. Yeah, it's like all right, maybe I can get somebody to take Landell and Aaron Holiday and get like a Capella, a rental. I don't know. I mean, that might be a long shot on something like that, but, I mean, it could work. I mean, I've seen Rafael make some trades. I'm like, what the fuck? Or sign people. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's just- I mean, you just think it's just so weird because the starters are playing so good. Like, Van Vliet, Jalen, Dylan, and Sengun are playing so good. He's like, I know these four are finishing the game. And who's going to be the fifth? And it's been rotating with Tari and all these guys, and and we've we've keep saying it in Rockets videos. Tari, Jay, Shante are like perfect defensive-minded players for this team. Like they're the Ime Udoka type of players for that defense. I also feel like Jabari kind of fits into that mold too. The only issue is, is I think he takes more criticism because he has more expectation. Yes, and a lot of people. And one thing I do want to say is, like, when Rockets fans are looking at what Jalen and Shingun are doing and they're praising them, don't go and then shit on Jabari because he's not at that same level. They have a year before them also. like, And the fact that he's willing to play his role and not cause any ruffles, that you should get credit for that too. Exactly. Um, they said the Rockets are the – are only giving up 105.8 points per game this season. That's tied for the lowest allowed points per game in the NBA so far. 
that's what baffles me is Houston is so good at de- on defense in regards to not letting the other team score, but we're not really that good at protecting the rim. So it's like, God forbid we get a shot blocker. Oh, man. We get a shot blocker. It's going to be uh... I need you to sit here and just block this paint, bro. That's it. Get some lobs. And we're good. Um, the Shingoon and Jalen thing has been it. That's gotten pretty much all the eyes. Those two, mm-hmm. because we were wondering how can they work with each other, and they've worked with each other very well. I think we've said it before. Fred kind of helped maneuver that, but then you look at like Shingoon and Jabari right now, how they're playing off of each other, and it's just like hold up, like it's. It's just weird because I think the Singoon should get the the like praise that he is getting, yeah. Because he's like consistent as shit. Like he's he's always doing something. His numbers are usually the same. Um, you know what to get out of Singoon, but I also think that like Jalen knowing when to take the game over is like he's learning how to be a pro. It reminds me of how Jamal Murray plays. It's like he knows his spots. It's like, all right, I don't give a shit if there's somebody on my team who is playing better. He's not going to be better than me for the next five minutes. And then Jalen won us a couple games recently doing that. Mm -hmm. There was, I mean, look at the Denver games alone. Like, I get it. People are like, oh, Denver is not fully healthy. Man, that Denver team, they'll, we beat them and then they go and dominate a team by like 40 points. So, yes, I don't want to hear nothing. Like, they're playing legit you know defense on them they're playing them hard like Jalen we we talked about it just watching the game like Jalen Green is probably one of the fastest guys in the NBA right now before every game Calvin Murphy does his points of the game and he every every game Calvin Murphy says he makes it he emphasizes the fact that control tempo control tempo play at your place play at your pace it's the Denver game is obvious that if Houston plays the way that the, the speed that they want to, we can play with anybody. Yep. It just comes down to if they do it. And and it that's what it's been pretty much with, even with Jalen, we're like, oh, he struggled. Can he play up to the speed? Can he do it? And he comes out there, he does his thing. And it's like, okay, this is, we know there's going to be dips. They're all going to have these these dips and ups and downs and everything. That but. Denver game was so dope to me, though, bro, because it's like, it's like you had players. Uh, Joker didn't have the greatest of game. You could tell it was trying to get himself going. Yeah. And when the guys were trying to help him, like Michael Porter and Gordon and uh, KCP, as soon as they tried to help him and get involved a little more aggressively, our team would just lock him up. They're like, nope, you better hope his big ass can help get y'all win because we are, y'all aren't doing it today. Yeah. And I was it was so good to me because I mean like it's there like you have the mental makeup to be aggressive when we didn't have that before. This is totally new territory for us as Rocket fans. That's why when I tell people like like should I watch them? I was like, dude, it is fun basketball right now. Like even when you're down, it's competitive. They work their way back up. I was mm-hmm. like, we've had some ugly games this year. Like I mean, if you take away that San Antonio Orlando games from the beginning. Every yeah, other those don't count to me. The only game where I could honestly say we didn't look great was that last game against Golden State. Yes. Like, we, yeah, was, uh... we, you ran across a legit champion that knew what they were doing, and they were like, all right, young pups, let me show you how to do this shit. And they basically did to us what we did to Denver. They sped us up. They didn't let us get comfortable. But the fact that you could go to L.A. and – Take a team like the Clippers, who's about as all in on a championship as I've ever seen a team be in regards to what they got on that team. And it literally took a bullshit four point play from the biggest ball hog this league league has ever seen to beat us. That's a win in itself. The next game you go and play LeBron and it took him to be heroic to beat us by a point. I get to win, even though it's technically, you know what I'm saying? So we're doing good. And that, and that's what one thing like I was telling people is, yes, we have six losses, we have eight wins. You're over five hundred. I mean, you look at the teams though, like that are, I mean, under you. You got Pelicans, Warriors, Clippers. Mm-hmm. Like these are all teams that are playing on quote unquote implications for playoffs and everything. So you're you're in the mix right now. Yep. 
I mean, you could be worse. You could be the Spurs at three and thirteen. You could be the Grizzlies at three and thirteen. Portland at four and twelve. Like, I mean, even that that Grizzlies game was a great uh, like example of what we are. Like, we struggled in that first half. Like, we looked bad. We came out, changed the way we played. Uh, we basically told them, y'all cannot get the ball in the paint anymore, and we stopped that, and we ended up winning by, like, 22, I think. Jalen went the fuck off in that third quarter. <laughs> third quarter, Jalen showed he went the fuck off. <laughs> Boy, you made grab those, like, just do your shit. All right, he back fucking out. dunked on Jaren, the, the reigning defensive player of the year, seen him go up, and he was like, you know what? You could have it. He didn't want no part of that. Yeah, that was... It's just this team, man, it's there's so many like different things. I mean, all the hype, of course, was the Ime, the Fred Van Vliet, Dylan Brooks. But then you look at like just even players we've already had, bro, like the Tari. That's the thing. That's why I'm so excited. That's why I don't I don't necessarily care about the record. Uh, If we hover around that 500 mark the whole season, I'll be amazed. I'll feel like we're going to championship. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to think about it. It's like you can't knock some of these guys that we're dependent on to be like very productive members of our team when they're still learning. But there's such an obvious willingness to learn and change their shit up that it's like I'm not going to critique you for every little thing you do because I know that you're being taught to do this the right way by the right people. Exactly. And we've said that in countless videos. Shingun and Jab and Jalen, especially for what, two years of getting mm-hmm. bad coaching, bad vet advice, they finally got a real head coach, real coaching staff, and you can see it. And it's learning abilities. It's it's they're gonna make those mental mistakes. He holds them accountable, and then they move on. And that's how you build great players into all stars, and and so on and so forth. And I mean. It just makes I'm I'm enjoying. I think, the I think that like real Rockets fans in Houston at this point also can appreciate the signing of Fred Van Vliet. Like if you know Rockets basketball and how useful he is, in my opinion, playing off of Singoon, then you understand like, like yeah, we don't want to give nobody fifty million, but like the dude being aggressive helps the whole. It helps the whole team. It gives Jalen one-on-one matchups the whole time when he's when Van Vliet's aggressive. It's just such good basketball. I haven't. I, I almost say this: we're not winning like we were with Harden, but I'd rather watch this than when we when you used to watch the Harden teams. It was the same bullshit all the time: high pick and roll, Capella alley oop dunk, PJ in the corner three. It's like blah blah blah. At least now, yeah, now you never know what's gonna happen, and I like the- it. It reminds me of like watching like Spurs, like old Miami games. Like you, yeah. you know who was gonna get it. You, the passing was just. I saw a video that somebody put. And they were like, you know, respect to James Harden. Always got love for you. And I was like, I was like, ah, you know, I remember this. This was fun times. But it literally was a lot of one on one dribbling, mm-hmm. shoot up, one on one jump shot one-on-one alley-oop one-on-one pass to the corner like you said to pj it, it it's still such the opposite of that that sometimes i wish they didn't like there's times where sangoon still passes up three-pointers and like shoot it just yeah. shoot it you know what i'm saying like you could take a bad shot from there you're helping the team yeah that's how it's, willing they are to pass the ball yeah sometimes they pass a little too much and it's like yeah. what the and every once in a while, Dylan Brooks would shoot up an ugly ass three pointer. Be like, "Bitch, pass that! What are you doing? Yes. <laughs> you pass it. The rest of you, I need to shoot it at." Yeah, nah, it's man. The team is nice. Um, we play the Mavericks next. Uh, of course, the tournament. Um, that tournament setup's all weird and everything. So, if y'all understand it, y'all drop a comment down below and explain it, dude. Also, people, chill the fuck out. Because if our schedule is this hard right now, it's got to get easier somewhere down the line. We literally play Denver again. Yes. <laughs> like This is what I keep telling people. Like We have, I think they said, a top five hardest schedule in the league this year. And At we're some point, eight- we have to have a streak of something easy. Like, we play, like, let's see. We have Tuesday... Mavericks, Wednesday, Nuggets. 
Okay. And then we go on to play the Lakers again on <sighs> December 2nd. And then we play the Spurs on Monday, December 11th. See, that break between the 2nd and the 7th, I don't like that. It's too long. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of breaks this year, and it's very weird because then that means you're going to get a lot of double headers coming up also, and it's just mm-hmm. like – like we had a, a four days off type of thing. I was like, what the hell is this? And they're like, oh, it's for the tournament. Bro, I don't care about the end season tournament. Like, Yeah, we have played on Sunday and we didn't play again until Friday. It's like, what the hell is going on? Like, how are we supposed to keep our enjoyment when we don't get to see them? We literally play Memphis December 13th and then play them again December 15th. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? And then we play the Bucks on the 17th. And then the 18th, we finally... I was literally just about to say, can we play an Eastern Conference team? And then you said Bucks, And I was going to be like, not that one. The then fuck? we play the 18th, a new team that we haven't played yet, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Ooh. And then we start getting into Eastern, December 20th, the Atlanta Hawks. And then we're back to the Mavericks, eh? <laughs> and the Pelicans. <laughs> When can we get some Washington Wizards on our schedule and shit? Oh man, I know we we got all these hard teams like, and it's back to backs like December twenty sixth Pacers, December twenty seventh Suns, like December 29th, 76ers. <laughs> we play. Oh, we got an easy one. January eleven, January first, the Pistons. Oh, okay. So next year will be our yeah. Next year is when the 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 season eases up a bit. You got Brooklyn. Uh, All right, Eme, you better use that rotation wisely. It's a long season, but it's definitely one to watch. Um, you guys go and support the team. Go watch them; they're fun to watch. We're enjoying them for sure. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more Rockets content coming up. Make sure you like, subscribe to the network right here by City Boys. We got you covered in all Houston Rockets, Texans, Astros. Um, other than that, hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving. We are out of here, Houston. Later. How much I'm working for this? I swear my dreams are too important.